Oh, man. So what do you want to talk about while we're driving? Oh, I don't know. You don't even know what you want to talk about? No. Current you're, events? You want to talk about... you? Well, you current heard, nightmares? You heard about current stuff or something? <laughs> I don't know. Well, look, There's let a me, lot of current things listen, going on. Since we're in the car, mm-hmm. and this is like a podcast <laughs> that has like a certain kind of a name, mm-hmm. and uh, has to uphold... A uh, reputation, right? (laughs) Let me start with a quote, okay? Oh, okay. Everyone appreciates your honesty until you're honest with them. Then you're an asshole. (laughs) Who do you think said that? George Carlin. Very good. That was George Carlin. (laughs) And uh, how do you feel about that? Do you think we're uh, a bastion of honesty over here? And that's why we get to be... Assholes? Called an asshole. Yeah, red, we get to wear the asshole badge. We, like, let me see your badge. Are you really an asshole? Let's see your badge. I don't believe you. <laughs> uh, possibly. I mean, possibly you know, honest, honesty. You're so honest that honest. you're an asshole. Does that right. sound people, right? People don't always like you to be honest. They don't like you to be honest. Yeah, yeah I like him. He's not honest. They well, I mean, they want you to be honest, but they want you to Are also you honest? Um, uh, not be honest. Care for their feelings. I want you to be honest, but not all the time. Not if it's going to be hurtful. Actually, don't be honest with me. He's an honest guy, but he's not honest that with the me. the phrase brutally honest comes from? Brutally honest. What's the opposite of brutal? Um, What's the opposite, what is the opposite of, brutal? of brutal? I was going to say nice, but that's not right. Nicely honest. He's so... <laughs> Gently honest. Yes. I like his gentle honesty. <laughs> he has a gentle. It's not brutal. It's not, not brutal. brutal. He's not an asshole. He's, he's, he's got a gentle honest. honesty. Who has gentle honesty? Is it priests, uh, maybe. nuns, and shit like maybe. Mother Teresa type people? Could, could be. Could be. Could be. So anyway, what are we talking about? I forgot what we were talking about. George Carlin says you're an asshole if you're honest. So So, we're honest. And then uh, let's honestly talk about. Honestly talk about. um, Some current shit that's going on. Oh, what's going on? Like, um, I don't know. What's going on here in New York? Oh, New York. Yeah. We've had, <laughs> I'm sorry, I have hiccups. You have hiccups? I'm trying not to hiccup into you should the hiccup. microphone. You should, you should have hiccup into the <laughs> recording device so we can record your hiccups. Go ahead, re- go ahead, record the hiccups. You got to be honest. I'm not to. I want you to be brutally honest with your hiccups. <laughs> go, how do they sound? How do hiccups sound? They go, <laughs> is that how you do it? It's like a cartoon hiccup. I did mine like, Foley style. <laughs> it's like a literally a hiccup. That's anomatopoeia, that word. I never really thought of it. A hiccup. Why do they call it a hiccup? Because it goes. <laughs> I guess so. Yeah, think about that. I mean, yeah, that's the noise it you does. make. It does make a hiccupy noise. Makes you a fucking anomatopoeia. But I, uh, I just try one of my uh, usual cure alls for hiccups. Which is what? Stand on your head and fucking. <laughs> Drink no, water. it's it's hold your breath, yeah, and then swallow really hard while you're holding your breath, and then let your breath out, and then usually it gets rid of them. How'd that work? I don't have them right now. See, you <laughs> so fixed we'll it? see what happens. Amazing. Well, look, since <clears throat> since we talked about how we're in New York, let's catch up because we haven't uh, we haven't said nothing about this crazy. Shit that happened the other week, right? Oh yeah, those uh, the uh, orange 
skies. Orange sky, right? That we had here in People said it was like New that York movie area. Blade Runner 2049 <laughs> over here. It was really weird. It, it was felt really, like we really had weird. a nuclear winter in the yeah. summer. It was it was very strange. Nuclear summer. I mean, the, at, at first it seemed like just the sky had gotten darker because it was going to rain, and then it didn't rain, and it just seemed to get more orange than gray, and it just was um the orange was because the sun was out so yeah so the haze of the smoke in front of the sun was causing that orange let me ask you let me back up a little bit here with this bullshit yeah smoke and the fire haze whatever the fuck orange sky is fire bad is fire bad um i guess it depends why i mean obviously you don't when it's destroying property uh, or harming like they, people then like it's when they bad say don't play with matches right <laughs> you fucking kids right. but they also say fire is cleansing and who's what is it clean like if you jump into the fire it's like you're taking a shower <laughs> i don't know Yo, i don't think you do that i uh, burn myself out once a week but well, um instead of I shower think fire dry is, fire is dry used shower in a lot of um ceremonies so, so is that what we had a giant ceremony in fucking <laughs> no. new york no 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 let me tell you i think we had fire, some bullshit is look, what we had going out. on i think fire is good now right? mm-hmm. especially if it's wild you notice how like wild stuff is good like wild strawberries wild caught salmon <laughs> so like yeah. house fire that's bad, right? Farm fire, that's bad. Wildfire, good, okay? So a wildfire is a good fire. And if we have scary wildfires, just keep in mind that CO2 did that. Climate change did it. So <laughs> right. it's because of climate change. So you got to, as soon as there's a wildfire and it bothers you, you're guilty. That you did it, all right? Now, if you don't believe climate change is real, wildfires should change your mind. I can see the headline at Politico right now. Alberta, Canada is on fire, and that's a good thing. Here's why. (laughs) You see what I'm saying? (laughs) Yes. However, however, Uh, it's quite suspicious. It's quite suspicious, these wildfires. Why is this suspicious? How they all started at exactly the same time. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if you look at it that way. If you're talking about looking (laughs) from the satellite where 97 fires just started all at one time, that was Yeah, and then they didn't do anything to, like, put them out. They didn't want to put them out. They said, leave it alone. Leave it. You leave that fire. Yeah, why? Yeah, they were like, fuck it. I don't understand. They Where whenever not. there's a whenever there's wildfires in California, all you hear about is, you know, how they're uh, dumping they won't chemicals stop on stopping the it. fires. They and won't they're, stop. You know, right? evacuating people to so they can curb the fires. And this time they didn't want to talk about it at all. They like didn't like want to do like any of that. Secret fucking shit that they it was were like pulling. yeah so we have these wildfires and it, they're so bad that they're affecting the breathing the air quality across several states in the u.s and it wasn't even in our country i think they yeah. fucked up and they didn't want new york to be covered like that so that we would pay attention because they wanted to just like do it and shut up about it and instead you know what happened because it hit new york New York got excited (laughs) about wearing masks. Oh, yeah. We all had to dig our masks out. We all got to dig out those beautiful masks that we spent at least $379 on. Because I got, I don't know about you, I got a closet of masks. (laughs) I got fucking Gucci masks. I got Reebok masks. I got Nike masks. I got Ralph Lauren and fucking polo masks. I got it all. And they all match my fucking socks. But sadly. My fucking turtleneck for Tuesdays and Thursdays. But sadly, those are not the ones that you were Uh, supposed to be using. (laughs) You don't have to 
say that. Just let me wear my mask because I you can you can wear them whenever you I want. I miss my mask whenever you like, want. You can go there if to you have go my outside covered nicely. wearing your mask tomorrow. Yeah. You'll be fine because there's other people that well, are still out there that there are wearing those masks. No fires, and they're still no walking fires, around with those masks. Still working the masks. Because they like them more than I do. Yeah. I and mean, I love fact, mine. Like, don't get me wrong. I love my fucking mask. I was in. It's like Cobra Commander and shit. I was in a store. Where was I? No, was I in a store? I think I was in a store like the other day, and the the cashier was. Wearing a mask. Oh, it was in the grocery store and the cashier was wearing a mask. And I was like, huh. Smart. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. Look, I sunk so much money into my mask collection. Now, mind you, this is a fucking proud <laughs> collection that I have. Okay? Right. Of course it is. I had to buy a whole separate armoire just to hold mm. my fucking masks okay that's mm-hmm. how much i love these fuck because breathing is important it turns out i didn't know that before mm-hmm, now mm-hmm. i look these lungs they're worth a lot you know yeah yeah it hurts to not wear those masks no more so when we had this fucking well no one's smoke, told you not to so well no they can s- go ahead and wear them yeah that's true i guess no one did tell me not to oh man all i know is when the president came in and he was like, for the first 90 days, you all got to wear them. I was like, damn right, I'm fucking. For the, uh, let's make it 180. Let me, let's right. make it 180. I'm going to wear that to sleep. Where can I place my order? I'm sleep with my mask on. <laughs> Let me get those masks. Why? Because we're in New York. And mm-hmm. you know why else? Because mm-hmm. we got the letter D next to our name. Because <laughs> we vote fucking Democrat. Right. Blue, blue, right. no matter fucking who. That's you know right. what I'm saying? That's right. That's how we roll. Mm-hmm. It's like we, you, you motherfuckers walk around with them MAGA hats everywhere. You know what we got? Face fucking diapers, okay? <laughs> That's what the fuck we got. Fuck you. This is our, this is our thing, okay? You thought you were mm-hmm. special with your January 6th? Nah, we got fucking like Ninja Cobra Commander G.I. Joe shit going on. We could fucking do whatever we want, you know? We could fucking do our own Antifa style shit, you mm-hmm. know? What I mean? Which, by the way, doesn't exist. It's... That's right. Like anti, a uh, and who? Just loosely. And who? Anti. 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 Who? Anti. What? Mm-hmm. Anti. Ho. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! But you know, seriously though, mm-hmm. the the air was fucked up. So like, yes, I had to wear it, it so that I don't fucking get mesothelioma in like twenty four hours. Right. Right. And you know, luckily, it was not the height of summer. Because we had to keep oh, all right. our windows closed so we wouldn't get that coming into the house um, and limit our time outdoors. And, you know, I have asthma, so... Asthma, that's good, yeah. Right. So, <laughs> so, I don't know about that, but, <laughs> you God know... Ble- God I bless was, you, warrior. I was, a, at, I was in an at-risk category at risk. here Thank in New York. Thank you for your service. To uh, limit my time outdoors. Um, but yeah, you know what? Whatever. We got through it. And um, we'll look, just wait to see what the after effects are going to be. <laughs> look, you brought up a good point that some people here had the balls to never stop wearing masks, okay? Can you believe yes. the onions on yes. these courageous yes. warriors? Yes. But didn't they look like geniuses when that fucking shit happened? Sure. They were all they like... They were like, see, huh. you stupid fucks. Right. They're like, I don't have to change nothing. I'm, right. This is just another Saturday. I don't Saturday. have to go searching for no mask. They're like, I got my I got shit my- ready. I was going to wear it anyway. Right. I don't, even, I don't have to depend on the governor to hand out some free masks for me because I don't have any of my own. But look, it's a, it's a, it's a double-edged sword. <laughs> The deadly air that was out there, mm. it like smelled so nice. You notice that? It was, um, it was interesting. It was, like it wood. was, yeah, it like smelled, smell. you know, it smelled like wood burning, of course. There it, you go. Uh, See? But it didn't like smell. Like a fireplace. Um, yeah. Like it smelled a giant like, fire pit. Yeah. It smelled like we were when in. you have a fireplace going in the winter. 
That's what it smelled like. Yeah, but it was like for everybody. So it's like it's, it was right. the ultimate. <laughs> it was the ultimate collectivist feel good moment. There you we go. We all get to share the giant fire pit originating right. in Canada. Right. You know what? Uh, Thanks, vape, Canada. Vape smokers have been training their whole lives for this moment. <laughs> it smelled like a fucking giant vape party out there. Kind of smelled sound of, like fruity and smoky at the same time. It was just like a vape smell. Yeah, it had a little sweet kind of like tinge to it. Something that like you would try to get a kid to try, you know. Well, I don't so, know about you know, that. But, you know. that's what it smelled like. It was like, hey, you want to you want to try this smoky thing? It's got like a cherry flavor, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cherry wood, cherry wood, cherry wood. In a way, we've all been preparing for this. Mm. As a matter of fact, Bill Gates, I was thinking, was probably smiling. He's been trying to block out the fucking sun and got smacked down for that. Idea, right, yet, right. Yet here we are, a yellow, orange, cloud-like haze that has an eerie nuclear winter vibe. And the fucking that motherfucker's probably rubbing his hands together with a fucking smile ear to ear. I know, look at that. Would you look at that? He's probably also saying, but if I had my dome right. over New York dome. City, everybody would have been safe. Well, well yeah. That's what he wants. He wants to dome us in like a fucking snow Maybe globe. Maybe he does. Maybe he wants to fucking dome everybody in. Bitch. Believe it. Hey, he know he's uh, Microsoft. Hey, let him do it. Right. Yeah, he's why smart. Not? Why not? He fucking knows what he's doing. Smarter <laughs> than me. Uh, let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. Every motherfucker I know now mm-hmm. has been talking his fucking ears, his, my ears off mm-hmm. for the last week or two about this AI shit. Oh, yeah. You, what the fuck is a, a, this AI? Do you know what the fuck? Can you break it down for me? I cannot break it down for what you. The fuck? <laughs> so when I, when I say AI, like what the fuck do you think I'm talking about? Artificial intelligence. Okay. So you know the word. Yeah. So my understanding, I guess, is um, having a artificial intelligence source that can um, be given a task and be able to do that task on their own um, with minimal input from a human. And then they could just, you know, do your own thing as opposed to what's that other thing? Um, AIG? No. What is the other thing? AIG, the insurance company. <laughs> Our a- new sponsor. AGI? Oh, what AGI. Is, is that it? AGI? Where... Um, Artificial you, general intelligence. General intelligence where... Oh, um, fuck, bro. <laughs> All of a sudden we got to hit where now these fucking that things. That is uh, a completely almost autonomous artificial intelligence. Okay, uh, let me just stop you there. All this sounds like bullshit to me. Look. <laughs> None of that sounds real. Okay, look. What are this, the what look, are the real world applications for this? Let me tell you. Let's talk let me, about let that. me back this up before we fucking say some stupid shit. All right. <laughs> I'm think. Here's what I don't like about it. I'm saying everyone's flipping out over Chat GPT. If there was oh, no Chat no, GPT, no. nobody would be saying shit. Mm. All right. Not a fucking word. Okay. Why? So why? Do you know why? Do you have any fucking clue? Even why? I don't. I've okay. never used it. I, I have do. no idea. Guess what? I do. Uh-huh, I fucking uh-huh. know why. Yeah. So FYI. <laughs> AGI, <laughs> FYI, you know. The fucking chat GPT has been around for like a decade or something. Right. But it's like version shitstone and now version four, right? Mm-hmm. So apparently, I don't know, two years ago, there was version three. So then they went to version 3.5. Then they went to version 4. Now it's a big deal. All right. So what are we talking about? We're talking about keep in, you got to, nobody says this shit, okay? So I'm going to fucking say it. Okay. Motherfuckers are sitting there with their thumbs clicking away on the fucking fake keyboard screen thing all day. All night on the Twitter and the Instagram and the Facebook and the ass shit, whatever. And they're writing their fucking words out there from their brain thoughts with their own voice in their head. And they're like, they think they're talking. They think that their words that they're typing is talking and publishing. 
So Twitter is like a publisher and they think that they publish shit. So they think they're like the New York Times now. Like if you're, if you got a Twitter and you're like, oh, these are my feelings. And you think that your fucking feelings that day are as a headline from your version of New York Times. So now you see in your feed, because you follow the fucking New York Times. Now you see the New York Times as a headline. And right after that is your little headline about how the fuck your hemorrhoids are today. And then... You are the same as the New York Times now. So we've been used to that for 10 years now. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's why they got all, what do you call it? They got all um, hoity-toity about the Twitter because they were in control of mm -hmm, all the headlines mm -hmm. and what was real and not real and racist and all this right, shit. And right. fuck you. How dare you say that shit? You can't say that. You can only say what I say because I got fucking blue hair and a fucking nose ring like a fucking bull, right? So... Then Elon takes over Twitter and everyone shits themselves. Mm -hmm. And he fires 80% of the motherfuckers and Twitter still works. Because it, like he said, it turns out Twitter does not require that many people to operate. <laughs> so they, Twitter was losing money before he came in and he had to uh -huh. fire 80% of the people, right? Right. So now we're stuck in that world where Twitter, you think you're the New York Times. Now, wait, I'm making my point. Mm -hmm. So now ChatGPT comes out and you could type in there and then ChatGPT types to you like it's the New York Times, like it's a person and they're like, oh my God, it's alive. <laughs> oh my God, it's intelligent. Oh my God, this looks like it's some my friend wrote it, except it did it in two seconds and it should have taken three hours. Oh my God. That's why they're flipping out. Who gives a shit? <laughs> it's a fucking chat bot. Like, so what? And they're saying AI is scary because it's going to take your job. Whose fucking job is it taking away? Nobody. It's, it's not. I mean, it can't. You know, the, the other, the AGI... Yeah, which don't exist. Which does not FYI. exist. FYI. <laughs> people, right. People are nervous. They don't want any um, real life examples of that actually happening because they are afraid that not only would it be taking people's jobs away, but they're also afraid because that type of intelligence can problem solve. It can... Um, uh, develop its own ideas. Let me ask you a question. Mm -hmm. How do I know as a listener of this mm -hmm. that you and me are not just two fucking AIs? Oh, yeah. And, well, and not I really mean, people. I guess, I guess that's possible. How do, if they are so but fucking I don't think scared, so. check this out. Yeah. And if I'm AI and I'm so smart, Mm -hmm. Can't I sit here and convince you that this shit is real, but actually this shit is all fake? Because well, how hard could it be to get our voices cloned, modeled, and then make up this banter for 40 minutes? It probably isn't all that hard, but I would think that... That sounds like what a, an, AI, an AI would say. Because it's a bot. Of some sort. Which you might be, right? Um, and I might be. It's not going to have emotion. It's not going to be able to... Who cares if it has <laughs> emotion? It's got to display the, the idea of emotion. Well, I don't know. Like you just I, laughed. I need you just to... laughed. All it has to do is make you laugh with the fake voice. And then you're like, oh my God, it's got emotions. You see? Well, that's emotion. That's yeah, what an emotion is. Who cares if it feels anything? Actors, mm -hmm. they got to get really emotional or are they just acting that they're emotional? Yeah, they might actually feel something, but who mm -hmm. gives a fuck? Mm -hmm. They're just actors. So the robot is like the ultimate actor. It's the soulless mm -hmm. performer. You see? Yeah. We need a performer in an AI and that's what it's doing. Just because you believe it's fucking real doesn't mean it is. It could be that you just got tricked. It's And we yes, might be fake right now. It's how, possible we could be fake. How do our <laughs> listeners right now know for sure that we're not an AI fucking podcast? And all it did was scan the last 23 episodes. And now on episode 24, mm -hmm. it's AI from mm -hmm. here on out. Mm -hmm. What's so hard about that? 
Um, it's not that hard, not, is it? Not, I guess. There you go. See, you don't know. You do not know, I don't know. if you're listening to an AI <laughs> podcast right now. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even know if I'm really here in this podcast. Right, exactly. I could not be. We'll see. Beautiful thing. Mm, interesting. Well, as AI, possibly, mm-hmm. let's not spill the beans and just let the listeners enjoy <laughs> it and they can guess. Right. By the way, um, speaking of AI, oh. um, you sent me that announcement by uh, Apple. Oh, yeah. What about it? What about Apple? What are they doing? That they will have voice cloning capabilities in their operating system coming up soon. iOS 17, 17. Yeah. is going to have some thing called something that they will call it i forget what right, it is whatever they some call kind it, of yeah. apple name right voice mm-hmm. whatever free voice or voice freedom or whatever the fuck some shit where it's really an access an accessibility feature so like if mm-hmm. let's say if you lost your fucking voice or you had a tracheotomy and you can't talk mm-hmm, mm-hmm. uh but somehow you talked into this thing so it knows your voice <laughs> Right. You're going to be able to text your fucking voice when, uh, and people will believe that it's you so that people yeah. will be like, oh my God, that's her. Oh my God, that's him. Yeah. That's, uh, that's definitely him. I believe it. Right. Voice cloning. Yeah. So well, here's what we're going to do. Mm. If this isn't AI right now, mm-hmm. because I mean, why wouldn't it be, right? <laughs> It could be. It could be. If this isn't AI, then mm-hmm. for sure when iOS 17 comes out, you know what's mm-hmm. going to happen? We're going to start taking voice clone phones mm-hmm. and we're just going to have those fucking phones talking to each other <laughs> and you won't be able to tell the fucking difference and right. you'll just be listening to this podcast as if it's all good, but guess what? It's AI. Right. Right. right? That's going to be interesting. Fuck? Like who needs people anymore, right? So when I say you think you're going to lose your job, maybe all the podcasters will actually lose their job. Maybe I was well, wrong. Maybe I, AI is so fucking smart <laughs> that it could just do all of this shit. Anything is possible, I anything, guess. Right? Yeah. Anything is possible. Anything, yeah. Absolutely anything. Mm-hmm. What else we need to cover about AI here? Let's see. Um, let's see if I can see what uh, what's been on my mind here. What do we? Why don't we uh, get off the AI topic? Yeah. And, uh, talk about some other... Oh, yeah. I know what we can talk about. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's talk about that movie we saw. John Wick 4. <laughs> yeah. Holy <laughs> shit. What a good movie, huh? That was an amazing movie. Like, let me ask you this. It something. was a crazy movie. Oh, it was like the best movie I ever seen in my whole life, actually. <laughs> uh, you know how people say Breaking Bad was really good television? Yes. It, yes. Like, it, it like created it a new high bar. Mm-hmm. for television mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and on hbo there was a show called the wire people who loved yeah, it they wouldn't yeah. shut up about the wire right so then people wouldn't shut up about breaking bad and the wire john wick four is the new breaking bad and the wire <laughs> but not just four because since there's four of them four. now it's like yeah. It's one, two, three, and four. It's like a series just yeah. like Breaking Bad and The Wire because they got episodes. Mm-hmm. John Wick has become a new high bar of a series just like Breaking Bad and The Wire. Hmm. Even, though it's, even though it's a movie, mm-hmm. I'm saying it's that good because some movies and there's like no movies as good as Breaking Bad. Come on. Right, that's true. It's go really good. It's such good it's television true. that it's like better than movies, right? Yeah, yeah. John Wick Four. So, so, why do I say that? Okay, <laughs> okay. So here we go. I thought Chapter Three was completely devoid of an IQ requirement. So that's good because then the it lets everybody in, right? Mm-hmm. And it mostly annoyed me to get to the end actually <laughs> the, the last one was equally on par as far as annoying this because it was similar uh it was nonsensical in my view which is good because why should anything make sense unless you relegated yourself to having agreed to watch a video game 
with NPCs running in the background. Did you feel that uh, way? It felt like I was watching yeah, so, a video game movie plot. Um, There was so much action and fighting in this film that there was very little of anything else. Um, and those fighting scenes were so drawn out that it seemed like there was no other space in the film for anything but that. Like any, any time you didn't see fighting, the scenes were very minimal, very little dialogue. Not that the fighting scenes were not amazing. I mean, they did some- I love fighting, by the way. They did That's some why. really interesting um, uh, methods, methodology in which they shot some of those scenes. Like if you haven't seen the film, I'm not going to spoil it, but there are um, some very interesting camera techniques that they used in some of the scenes that I found uh, pretty interesting. Yeah, I found them interesting too. Interesting so much that I had to fucking uh, criticize them. <laughs> I will you criticized. Say, I had to look it up and say, uh, oh, look, that was interesting. In all seriousness, I did like one thing about the movie. Mm. It seemed to showcase the absence of television screen in general. You know, like here we got TV screens everywhere and phone screens and computer screens. Over there, it was like fucking screens didn't exist, right? Yeah, yeah. And there were no smartphones. There were phones, there and were there phones, were flip phones. Not, right? Yep, no smartphones, yeah. Hinting at the idea that perhaps such technologies were not used in that world, because I don't know what fucking world they were living in, even though it was supposed to look like our world, right? They had cities like we have, New York, Paris. Right, it was futuristic, but yet not super futuristic. I mean, was it even futuristic? It wasn't. It was like you had old cars. They had BMWs from like well, it was 10 years ago. Well, I don't know. I mean, it seemed like, what the modern, fuck year was this? modern-ish. Um, but another thing that you said, there's no television. They did have radio. Yeah, which we all know is uh, you high, know, with, the height of technology. With, radio. Uh, with a live disc jockey whoa disc jockey jeez where do <laughs> Which, they get those where do we that's such a rarity these days and most people don't listen to actual radio stations anymore so that was interesting i like that you never saw one police officer in the mayhem in yeah public, in yeah where were all the public cops or private situation in the entire there world was, that these was, characters traversed repeatedly yeah there was so much going on out in the public where you know c civilians were where were all the cops can i just say <laughs> one last thing and, and why then, were there look, no civilians getting injured in anything that was going on there? i just want to say one last thing about this fucking movie how good it was mm. god bless the ever important kevlar bulletproof suit Oh, yeah. Without such a thing, there wouldn't even be a movie. That Lastly, is very, very true. <laughs> if you could make a bulletproof suit, I'm guessing eh, you could probably also figure out how to make a bulletproof shirt. <laughs> right. Just, just throwing that out a there. Bulletproof shirt. The sh suit's bulletproof, but the shirt ain't. And, uh,. I'm throwing out there for the preposterously slow spoon fed ending that was somehow appreciated by audiences that liked it. Um, like they were strapped, you know, in a, in a race, you know, I like those cars that are like you, you know, how like when you, let's say you go to a, uh, an amusement park and you want to go fucking race and there's two kinds of, you could just do anything you want. And then there's those ones where you yeah. gotta be stuck on a track. So you yeah, can't yeah, really, yeah. that's what that fucking movie felt like. Like I was stuck on a track and I mm. couldn't really, I just steered into this bullshit. Uh, if unbelievable is the main criterion for what makes a movie good, then this movie wins high honors <laughs> as expected. No shocking surprises there. So that's all I want to say about that movie. Mm, okay. Oh, but you know how mm. you don't really need high IQ to watch the movie, I may be really stupid. So there's the part that I don't quite get. Like this is remember that one part where they fucking decided, oh, we're gonna have that duel. 
Yeah. And then he had till fucking 6.07 in the morning or whatever, 6.04 in the morning, sunrise to get yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They were all together in the boat. Oh, yeah. And then for some reason, John Wick had to leave on his own to get to the place, but he had to be there with the other motherfucker, Winston. Why didn't he just stay with Winston, Winston. And, and go right. with him? And travel together. But no, right. he had to go out there and fucking almost die for the next seven hours. Right. Well, I mean- why? They, I don't understand why he I had to do that. Right. Do you understand there, that? There's no- no explanation as to why that needed to happen. Ever. But if it didn't happen, they wouldn't have one of those amazing right. scenes. It's like that some they nuanced had. bullshit, right? Um, yeah, it was like really didn't make any shit. sense at all. It was like I think I mean, the, no, there was no explanation for that. But I think you know, the explanation whatever. is something stupid. Where they're like, well. No one's allowed to help him, so he has to be led on his own to do it. What kind of answer is that? Like, just, I mean, come on. Like, it's like they needed another hour of movie for <laughs> right. you to watch There's, laboriously. Right. There's tediously. There was nothing. <laughs> A goddamn staircase. And like, there was, God and they damn knew, it, right. And they, and, you know, there was a, criteria that he had to be there by that time and if he Jesus. if he wasn't Marron. there then it was open season on him and anybody could just come and assassinate him but Fuck. then prior to that they made sure assassins were after him anyway god those fucking guys so are everywhere they it didn't were matter where he was they were there to prevent him from getting there and then there would be more assassins if he did if he didn't make it there and right, he was me- late if he was late let me just say, uh, <laughs> but you know, that's all I want to say about the film because I don't want to give it. Good, all we're away. done. All right. Now an ad from our sponsor, low level fluoridated water causes low IQ. That's why we drink it here regularly. Low level fluoridated water. That's Get yours fake. Now. now imagine we had ads. <laughs> that's the kind of fucking ads we would have here. Oh, low level fluoridated water. We drink it. I mean, you should too. As a matter of fact, you probably are. It's good for you. Because your filter doesn't filter it. It's everywhere. <laughs> Trust us. It's good for you. Yeah, can you imagine if we had to read ads to make money to make this podcast? And that would suck, huh? You'd have to be very particular about what those ads are. I mean, it wouldn't suck for us. It would suck for the listeners because like everybody, oh, yeah. oh no, an ad, oh my God. Whenever I, I listen to a podcast, there's always this one or two ads that they repeat throughout the entire Jeez. podcast. So it's like every 15, 20 minutes, let's you know say what? the podcast is an hour. It's like every 15, 20 minutes, it's the same fucking ad. In all that seriousness, they say. if you're going to read super ads, annoying. if you're going to read ads in all seriousness, why don't we read the ads that make us the most money? What do you say? <laughs> that. I think that's what everybody's goal is. Yeah, but I'm saying like for real, like I'm not kidding. Like I uh-huh. got, I got one for you right now. Yeah, you yeah. Wanna, I, I think uh, let's we, hear it. Brought to you by Pfizer. Brought to you by oh. Pfizer. Brought to you by Pfizer. This podcast is brought to you by Pfizer. I bet you that's fucking worth six million dollars. Right yeah, there. probably. Hey, don't forget to get vaccinated. Right. Brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> brought to you by Pfizer. This podcast is brought to you by Pfizer. <laughs> They're gonna pay us the most money. I'm not. I don't need other ads. That's it. That's I just it. want. That's all you I just need. need that one. That's all you need. Like ten million dollars right there for the year. I mean, that's not <laughs> bad. You know what I'm saying? That's pretty mm. fucking good. What else do we want to wrap this? Oh, mm. you know this is Pride Month. Did you know that yes. this is Pride Month? Yes. What are you proud of this month? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bit of silence there. Um, Do you have any pride? I, 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 well, we have Pride Month is not the same as being proud of yourself. Uh, let me ask you something. Uh, <laughs> is pride a virtue? Yeah. No, I don't think pride is a virtue. It's not. Pride it's is not, not a virtue. Pride is like a fucking oh, sin. Oh, no. It's like right. one of the it seven is. It's not a virtue. Sins. It is. It's- <laughs> And this is You're the right. month for that. Seven, so pride is not a virtue. Seven deadly sins. You virtuous, proud fuck. <laughs> the month of June 
But you know what else is uh, in June? Two very important things, which never, never had to share with Pride Month. Oh, yeah. And they usually come really close to each other. Every second Sunday in June is Puerto Rican Day. Yes. And right around, somewhere around there, either on the same day or a week before usually is Father's Day. Yes. So we got those three things in June. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Pride, Fathers, and Puerto Rican. Right. And Pride and Puerto Rican Day. Puerto Rican Pride Day. Uh, Sunday. Are very, that tomorrow? That's very tomorrow. popular here in Happy Puerto New Rican York. Day, everybody. Yeah. Um, we see a lot of Puerto Rican pride in this neighborhood where we live. You know, there's an update to your iPhone to have that pride wallpaper so that your phone isn't homophobic. Oh, yeah, that's nice. Is, you yeah. know, I saw the other day a picture of the Pope with a oh, pride yeah. with the pride flag, flag like, draped around him. Yeah, as if so he was, was as if he's from the country of pride. Mm-hmm. Right, mm-hmm. like he's gonna be like he's gonna like a boxer with a flag around his shoulders. Yeah. Like he's a fucking like hey it's almost like he should have been like, Hey, I'm gay, everybody. He should have been like uh, hey, is this a good time to come out? <laughs> that's because that's what the fuck that shit looked like. Right. They should have wrote in the headline the, uh, Pope Catholic is Church. outed as gay. Right. Catholic Church is a change in these days, huh? I mean look. We all don't want to get labeled as one of the uh, phobic ists and isms, you know what I'm saying? So just be careful out there. Yeah. You know, you don't want true. less than 2% of the world to get angry at you when a when uh, white knight stands up and fights for the cause in the name of the isms, you know what I'm saying? So mm. just, I think the Pope is just being real careful. That's all. He don't, he don't want to be canceled or whatever. Right, right. But yeah, I think you that's, hey. look, I think we covered enough shit, uh, we got to keep our eyes on the road so I don't fucking like run over a grandma or some shit like mm, that. Mm-hmm. Don't miss a turn or whatever. So uh, let's pick this up. Let's pick this up next time we get in the car, huh? All right. Sounds good. All right. Cool.